name is Redonga Jay. Kinyaka, no way, Vidi, Napoleon, and I was born in nineteen eighty one, so I'm forty two years old. I was born with five siblings. But we have, uh, we've remained two of us now. Mm -hmm. It is not easy to speak about the testimony that uh, things that happened in 100 days to speak in a short time, but I'll try. I'm going to start before genocide against the two sisters. <laughs> To tell you how I came to know that I'm a Tutsi. We were born like any other children in Rwandese family. But we came to know about the ethnicity when we went into schools. Some of the system they had a, a systemic call that where they were asking Tutsis to stand up and Hutus to, so they were differentiating the two. Uh, 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 the reason why this happened is because uh, 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 until then I had not known that I'm a Tutsi until when we went into primary and my, my fellow troops, people told me to stand up because I'm a Tutsi. It was traumatizing to stand up as a Tutsi because when we stood up, people booed us. But when I went to primary and I met my fellow troops, they told me I'm a Tutsi. I went home so sad and questioned my parents, why are you Tutsi? Because when we stand up, we get booed because we are Tutsi. Uh, and then I found out that people actually believe let me go fast so I can reach to the genocide against the Tutsi when it started. After the, uh, the plane crash of uh, the president of the, uh, the Republic of Rwanda, Germana, crashed, I saw that my parents started getting scared and they were a bit worried. Um, uh, and then after that crash, that's when we started seeing people attacking us in our areas, or in our residential areas. We are born in a place which was previously called Kiliye, but at the moment it's called Karonji. In a six, it's a district called Nyamasheka. But it was that time Rama Tamsa. Um, how did you have to be a child? You have to be a child. You have to be a child. Those who know the history of Rwanda, the Kibuya was a place where a lot of Tutsis were residing. Then when you look at Ramatama, that place was more even populated by Tutsis. Those who know Bisesero, it was close by. Well, I, as I go first on the 8th of April, people came and attacked us. So most of the Tutsi went and ran and hid in the forest that was close by. We were close by the river of Kivu that is uh, um, gives the, the same to uh, Congo. So many people died in that time or they were thrown in that river of Kivu and others were going uh, hiding into that forest. 
kwishye muri Gisamba abame babikiramo abandi bashobora kwambuka bajya muri Kongo ababishoboye twege tumara muri Gisamba amasama cyo maze kwirangira ubwo twahise twiyorganiza kugira ngo tubashe guhungira aho itwa kuri commune cyangwa rusengero kugira ngo tubashe kwisha mu rusengero niko bavuga yuko ari ko tuzakira so some were, some were killed obviously some were able to uh, to to, uh, to go to, uh, to Congo but others we had to plan to go into either a commune a community place or in a church to hide nabo byari byose uko rugero rwo kuva aho twari dutuye kugera kuri commune aho bikirwa amatamo nyine hari kure cyane hari mu byukuri ngiranyije n'ibirometero 20 miles so uh, where we were planning to go in the in Ramatam commune it was a long distance it was about 20 miles so this is where I'm going to tell you how about the problems we faced during that journey. Ni hagani shaba na bara hanga ha ni mumvamu zama gamba kome ye arimo hati mbova aba na bara fiti bafiti ni haka na chumi ni bi cha chumi zatu kwanga na kama ni chote he bara mumvamu wenda bi bate hivyo zomu ba kome ze koko jina hivyo ni life ni moto. I wanna comfort the young children that are here, the teenagers who are the age of around 15, that because that's when I was around that age. Things that I might be saying, they might be traumatizing, but I wanna just comfort you because I live that life. As I said, we were five children. We were uh, three girls and two boys. I was the first born. We, when we go to the commune or to the area we were running to, a few of us, the Tutsis, but we found our fellow Tutsis that had, had come to hide in that area. Uh, when the, the, end, uh, the bottom picture, that is where the commune was. That is where the uh, the district office were. Those uh, building at the back, they were primary schools. When you look at the end, at the far end, there is a church. So when you look at the back, the forest that was full of Tutsis that were coming, that, were, that had come in that place, we are hoping that they will be rescued and protected from that area. But that was not the case. That was a place that we were going to die from. That whole place was uh, uh, surrounded by the, the killers. We were so many of us already there. We were there for four days until the 12th of April. Those who were running from the, the Inhotani, the, the FPL uh, soldiers, the soldiers that were running away from the FPL in Hontani, they were passing through there because there is a, uh, it is on the border of Congo. So the, as they were passing, they were killing us with the, with, uh, with the help of the residents, uh, people that were living there. As I remember that place is traumatizing for me. My mom had told me to take care of my young brother. And she was going to take the, the other three girls with the youngest one as well. Nafashe muri muna wanye tukiru kanyina muru senjiru raru senjiru kwa rumwa wandu warenga magra mina mino mitano na muri mini mumwe ya chuyo muru wanda harima mateka wazawi shobwa na wazawi wabgira na anjeli wa makono mvise jowondi ni kubaza sista wanji. Um, so we, I took my little brother and went into the church. There were 200 people hiding in that church. For those who know the, uh, the, the, the history or the commemoration, there is history within that church that you can also search for. 
hano mureba hano leo hari ibiro bya komini hari hari hegutse ho gato haga so zigato hari hashinze imbundi ikomeye cha uh, as you come close to the pole here, that's where the office of the district were, but there was a, a gun that was put there. Baraturashi, Baraturasa, Kugezuga Banu, Basa, and Havabanu, Haria, Haria, was great, Ninera Hamley, Woman Sivakamicha, Ushara Kamicha, Unusin Moros and Yavakamicha, Ura Havakamicha, no, no, Baraturasa, and Terama Gorde, the Kurgan House, now Shurak Sukari. Uh, uh, as you can imagine, we were in the middle at the back, we were surrounded by the killers. In the front where the pole is, there was a, a gang that was with there, so they were shooting at us, they were throwing grenades at us. We couldn't run from anywhere, we were stuck in the middle. <laughs> Um, as we were in the church, we could see the bodies, um, as they were throwing the grenades, they could see the bodies uh, stuck on the walls and the blood all over the place. Um, okay. um, it's a long story that those who were in the field were dead, um, surrounding them they were dead. Uh, in, in other words, they were all, um, there were cops all over the place, the killers went and left. Those who survived, we plan to meet again. We managed to meet again so we can comfort ourselves and try to move on. We were very few. Many of the many of our fellow survived. Many of our fellow people had died. So as we were few, uh, people were shouting, the killers were telling people it's now better, everything is fine. So it was a system that we're using so that people can come again in the same place so that they can kill them in, a, in, in more uh, numbers. So the people came and then we were many again and on the 17th of April the, the killers came again and that was, the, uh, that was another massacre that was taking place. <laughs> So what was happening that they were calling for other people to come and help the soldiers in uh, the, uh, the the killers were calling other people to help saying that this place Ramatam was difficult because there were so many Tutsi there and there were so many people that could fight for themselves as well. So this is again the system they were using, they were again, they surrounded us again, they were using guns and, uh, and uh, all types of big guns that they were carrying. Remember, these uh, these killers were running away from the Inkotani in, in soldiers that had been already been defeated. So whilst they were running to Congo, they were killing us, well, um, killing people that were there as well. Barishe, Baricha, Baricha, Barasa. No, no, we just go. Bahamagara, no, 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 no. Kwabi, Shibo, Sebatuje, Kwabarashe. No, no, Mushira, Mimi, Panga, No, Bohiri, No, Bichibjo, Se, Koko, Na, Boto, Chiras. Um, so they were satisfied that they had killed everybody, but now what they were going to use, they were going to chop and uh, use machetes to chop people, use the, uh, the hammers to hammer them, uh, because they felt that they had already killed everybody.
baratumana ye mpande zose abari mu rusengero nge nari ndinyo mu rusengero muri cyo giye kuri 17 ndi kumwe na murumuna wange no bundi mama ara afite system yo kutugabanya kugira ngo niba bamwe bapfuye abandi bazarokoka so i was with my young brother at the back of the church the way my mom had separated us so if people few of us were killed at least there would be some who could survive so they brought all of us who had survived or who had remained there, they brought us in the middle of that wall, uh, if you see in the middle of the compound, so that nobody escapes. We were still many despite how many had died. Before they could use the machetes, they had to, they threw grenades or bombs within uh, the compound as well. So whoever tried to escape, as I said, they was, we were surrounded, they would uh, chop them or they would hammer them on their head. My mom uh, called us together and surround and said, let me pray for you so that we can, uh, so we can uh, go to heaven. Um, as, as they were not, we are not going to survive, sorry about this. Uh, so, um, bad, bad Christian, but a Tema Gura, 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 but a Tema uh, at night, I'm going to go fast because it's a long testimony. Uh, at, uh, when it got to night, I, I woke up, I stood up. The killers had already left. The, but there were tears and cries and screams of children and people fighting for their last breath. I cannot forget the sound of those that was crying and breathing their last breath. Even now, I do remember those sounds. But we comfort ourselves. So that place, that's where my mom, mother, and my three sisters were left. They shot their head in, in my eyes. Uh, my, so my little sister that follows me, uh, the third, the third uh, she's the third one. She stood up from the, the among the dead. She climbed it. That is the little girl you see in that picture there. At that time, she was seven years old. She is my. Uh, she follows me the third. So she is the third sibling. Um. I was with my mom, I saw everything. I saw that death. It was heartbreaking. My little sister, they had broken her arm, so her arm was already, uh, fr uh, had a fracture. We were, uh, we were covered by blood, all of, our, all of us. 
We walked on top of cops and climbing and jumping cops of dead of people there. But to, to be fair, we didn't know where we were going. I didn't even know that place either. But I was the older one. I took the responsibility of my little sister. So we went to, at the back of that church. And there were people who were still alive, but again, they, were, they had wounds, they were bleeding, but it was hard to see. We climbed that mountain uh, slowly. We got there around midnight. We went round and round ourselves in that place uh, for about a week because we had no clue of where we were going. As we went into that forest, there was a, a forest near that mountain or that hill, and we went to hiding. Whilst we were hiding, and they burnt the, the forest. But thank God, uh, the, the fire didn't catch us. So because uh, you can imagine a whole week with no food, what we could, were surviving on were gorvas that we were eating in there. So I thought maybe if we go back to our ho homeland or our home, maybe there will be people that will help us. But then I realized that there were a decision and I said to my sister that we need to go. I knew the direction of going home, though I did not know properly the way, but I knew which direction to take. Uh, we, were, we climbed hills and went bottom of the hills. We went around, but I could focus on the direction of my homeland, and I knew I would reach there at some point. I knew a, 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 a parent who was uh, praying with Mama. I knew where they lived. I thought that that is the only person I thought that would help us because she, she used to pray. We, we reached at her place the, the morning when uh, people, the killers, were waking up to go and do their job to kill people. As I was looking at her like five mi miles, uh, five miles away, uh, before I could reach where um, this lady lived. The killers saw me uh, at that moment and they shouted and they chased me. Um, my sister managed to escape. Yes, we did so I went back running. I don't know how I hid, but I managed to hide that they couldn't find me. As I was staying there until the evening, 
I went to the lady as I said, but my, in my heart I thought my sister is already dead. But thank God I found her there. I found God, I found my sister there. This lady accepted us and took us in. She gave us clothes. We had blood everywhere. She gave us water to shower and food to eat. She, she comforted us and said, uh, my children, I know it's not easy. I lived with your parents. They were good people, but I don't know if you can stay here because they'll kill you. Uh, they'll kill you from here. Uh, she took us out of her main home and built uh, something, uh, a tent or a, a small, a shell, a shell, a shelter, thank you, a shelter at the back. There is another little girl that came uh, also trying to hide. So we were three of us. It was hard. So she, she, as she said uh, that me and, and this little girl, we had to go and hide in the forest. But because my sister was so young, she was going to hide her in a box. Uh, you will excuse me, I can't remember the dates. All I knew was day, day and night. So we went to the uh, As you remember, I told you that we ran into the first forest. So as a, this lady was living close to me, so we went in the same forest, but this forest was filled, filled of wild animals as well. I saw wild animals and they did not do anything to us. Instead, a human being, they were the ones who had turned into animals. We used to come back at night so that we can eat. We would come at night to eat, but we would spend day and night going around in the forest. We were like animals. We spent a half um, a month and a half in that forest. We went to as we were hiding in the forest, we could see people running on a, a, a big line crossing by the forest. And they, well, I didn't know then well, who they were, but there were people that had already been defeated by the RPF soldiers and others who had already finished killing. And, uh, after a while, I met uh, soldiers who were white. And they said, uh, and I went to say to this to this mom or this lady who, had, uh, who was protecting us or hiding us, and I said, I've seen the wild soldiers. Don't, don't you think they would be able to uh, help us and rescue us? Oh, uh, the lady said, don't worry, I'll speak to them and see if they'll be able to help you. If they are able to help you, I'll let you know. Uh, she found somebody and said, I'm hiding the Tutsis. But thank God that person was kind enough not to kill us. Uh, as um, the, one day we went to eat and she said to us that be stand by their French people, uh, soldiers that will come to see you. Three soldiers came into that home, uh, they, were, they had guns with them. They took us. 
They took us down the hill onto the main road. But as they were taking us at the, uh, around the, the area, everybody who saw us shouted. I think it was around the end of June. Uh, and we were unlucky that the Inkontani soldiers reached on many other people, but where we were, they reached there a bit late when many had died. We had reached a point where parents were killing the, their own children. For example, if a, 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 somebody had a child with a Tutsi, they would kill a child, a, a child because they had the bloodstream of Tutsis. Those are the news that I came to know when, uh, from this lady who was uh, protecting us. Uh, so these French soldiers took us into their jeep and took us into another area. Those who were in Visese Road, they had already been rescued by the Inhotani. When we reached in Chishita, in that area, Instead of the French people to take us into, to rescue us and take us into Inkontani, instead they took us in another group of the Hutus that was uh, fleeing to Congo. So they, we spent like three days. They were also hiding. They were camping in, in the schools and they would spend like three days and then they would continue their own journey. Then this woman came to us and looked at us and said, you, those children are Tutsi. And that moment I was like, I thought I had survived. How am I going to die now again? These soldiers who had brought us here, they were having fun, they were playing volleyball, they were having a good time. And I went to them, I would speak a small French and said, I am Tutsi, I am Tutsi, take me to Montagny. That is the moment, that is the first time I, I, I understood uh, rescue meaning uh, a survivor. All they did was they took a list and put names there and wrote survivors and they left. Uh, across uh, across the road, there were uh, people. I don't know if they were UN soldiers. I don't. I can't. I don't know who they were. All I know, they were wearing blue hats. She took us and because she could speak French, she, she spoke to, uh, she advocated for us and said, these, these children are not the ones going to Congo, they are Tutsi, can you help them to meet the Inhotani? Uh, they were helpful, uh, they opened the, the place they were and, and they allowed us in and they helped us. That morning, they put us in their car and took us into to, uh, in Hotani. So there was, uh, they had put uh, like her, a border, if I, if I may say, uh, so the, 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 the RPF uh, soldiers couldn't cross over 
and there was a, around French people, am I right? French people there, so they took us and uh, managed to make us cross to go to the uh, RPF in Hotani. I was happy, I was overwhelmed with joy because at last we had met survivors uh, that were, had, uh, they were there and that is the moment we started having life. You didn't hear me speaking about my father. My father lived in Kigali at that time. When I saw the, when I met the the Fpering Hotani, I asked, "Did you miss my father?" Kubera ko ni wakako papa, wundi papa ito baka guije ma, wari kwa tangu kumu 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 hi, kakuwe disinarije kovachera. My father's name was Rijema, so because of his name, he had been already a, a target from the beginning. I knew that Rijema was uh, in, uh, an FPL in Hotani. I thought maybe he had gone into in Hotani as well because of his name. But uh, later, years later, I came to know that he was among the people that was also thrown in Nyabarongo River. Um, in Watanyi, we took a man in a boy, Jahonga, who are the ones who fought the Nyabatoya, but to protect the bus. So we stayed with the Watanyi soldiers for a while, but uh, after a while, they took the young ones and put them in the bus. But to Jana, we took a chief force, and they took us in an orphanage. That's how our life in the orphanage started. Let me stop here, but allow me to thank. I will thank, but at the same time, I will. To condemn. To condemn. Thank you. To condemn. So, um, that's I want to thank him, Hotani. Can you be quick, From the bottom of my heart. <laughs> they gave us life. How did you watch what anybody? Where our parents weren't, <laughs> they were there. But to visit, they um, they raised us. But to hide me in the corner, they clothed us. But to have a zoo, they gave us homes. At your time to call him. They did everything they could. This is my sister. Remember that they had broken her arm, but now she's a big, beautiful girl. As a, as a, she's a mother, she has children, and I have children too. We have daughters and sons. Those who thought that they had killed us or they had finished us, now we rose up. Please accept and thank them for me. I am going to condemn others. I hope it's okay. I condemn those who did the genocide against Tutsi. You betrayed us. You did worse. Those, why you hear that they uh, undressed women and killed young children? This is true because I saw it at a young age. Let us be uh, gentlemen and rebuild and renew ourselves. Thank you for listening to me.